And Phoenix has possession. It's an 18-point game. Ludzo is out there with Sonny Weems. Then there's Warren. Then there's Markeith Morris. And it's Chandler in at the five spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Bloodzo. Shot clock at six. Out left to the wing. Weems passes to Chandler. Near the three-point line, it's Bloodzo. Gets the front of the rim and out. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. Out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. At least as I look at it. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You gotta keep getting him touches. And there's the feet to Warren. He's got a ball. 149 left in the fourth quarter of this one. That's his seventh miss in 12 shot attempts. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy. a big lead, no doubt about it. Anderson dishes to Gino. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Spurs. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Yeah, I think you also have to give them a lot of credit for how well they've risen up to beat shooters to challenge shots in this game. Uh, a lot of blocked shots tonight. What a night so far for Jim. He has nine rebounds, and his steals are starting to pile up for him also. At the line, he's really got into their heads because of it. I mean, guys are on the lookout for him, always worried about where he is. And the Suns here with a different look. John Moore, he's checked in for more. Young comes in for more. Booker, he's checked in for Sonny Weems. And it's Price in for Eric Hudson. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for the Spurs. And they could do no wrong. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest of capability. Yes, yeah, very satisfying uh, win for them, too. A game to remember and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And what a huge standout performance it was for Anderson. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebounds. And Phoenix making a change here. Tucker's checked in to the wing on the left. 11 feet away. Here's Fournier. The rebound by Young. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. There's 37 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Yeah. Not really doing him any good at this point, as late as it's starting to evolve. Yeah, but kudos to him, Greg. I mean, the fight they're showing now, you got to give them credit for that. Would have been really easy to pack it in. And the fans already heading for the exits. Clearly not pleased with the way things turned out today. Well, Greg, this was a well-deserved win. I mean, they came into this building and acted like it was their home turf. They were the ones calling the shots and controlling everything. I love how he used his height advantage on that shot. And he had the nice, soft touch with it, too. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That's his third personal foul. Shooting for Phoenix. And that one falls for Price. At the line for two. Price hits him both. Nine seconds left in the game. And Mills kicks to Diaz. That's good from 17 feet away. Terrific run to seal the deal. Yeah, and now let's just keep an eye on how much longer they keep the foot on the accelerator. And the series has been won. And with the four-game sweep, they steamrolled their way through round two. Now, Greg, they head to the conference finals on the highest of notes. And to that point, Kevin, I really feel like this team is playing their best basketball of the season. They're going to have some downtime before the next round, but as well as they're playing, probably this thing would start tomorrow. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And this broadcast has not ended just yet. We've got the award-winning Ernie Johnson standing by here for the post-game show. The 2K Sports post-game show.
Bernie Johnson again, folks, alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to take a quick peek at our Jordan player of the game. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. He gave them an enormous lift tonight to make sure they're moving on to the conference finals. He said, you know what, give me the ball, let me go to work. This is barbecue chicken soup play with a diet soda. He had a very nice night from the field tonight, shooting over 50%. That smooth, soft touch was working for him tonight. No matter how tight the deep played him, he was still shooting it right in their face. So that's the finale of this round two series of the NBA playoffs for Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. I'm Ernie Johnson. Now on to what should be an amazing conference finals coming up in just a few days. We will see you again soon.